We're heading out for a deployment where we've already had another team do a drone sweep and they found roughly 20 hotspots. And now we've been called back a second time to do another sweep. I'm hoping to see very few hotspots on this mission because it's already been flown before. They've detected about 20 spots last time. Then a crew came in and actually cleaned up those hotspots. So hopefully if we've done our job right, when we check this time, there will be either only a few or no hotspots remaining. So being on the hotspot detection crew we are essentially on call at all times so most of us are ready to be deployed immediately so some of the challenges with detecting hotspots is figuring out what the appropriate thermal range is to be detecting we could accidentally be detecting animals that are sleeping so they're stationary and they just look like dots and it's hard to tell that from a fire we could also have areas that are just high pieces of ground so ridges peaks of rock that heat up more during the day than the rest of the surrounding ground so it looks hotter but it's not actually a potential hotspot. Yeah so as it's flying its mapping mission we're watching the screen and it's a heat map on our screen so anything above a certain temperature is going to highlight red and everything that's red we're going to stop and take a look at look at what the actual temperature of that is and whether it's significantly hotter than the ground around it and that signifies that it's likely a hot spot and then that that point we take its geographic location. All right, so we've arrived at we think what we think is a really good launch point. And so now we have to set up a whole lot of equipment. We have a Starlink to set up. We have to set up a generator so that we can charge our batteries as we're flying so that we can fly continuously. We have to set up our drone. Yeah, and then we do all our safety checks. We have a field level hazard assessment to check to see if there's any safety issues in the area. We have to survey the area so that we make sure our, our drone plan is, is actually going to be suitable for this position. Then we have to do a pre-flight checklist. We go through the drone and check all the structural integrity of the drone. We make sure that it's operating properly and then we get into our flight mission and we start planning the parameters for the flight. When we're flying, we like to be able to go continuously, but because the battery only lasts about 40 minutes or so, and we have hours worth of flying to do, we have to change the batteries constantly. So every time the drone comes close to the battery getting a little low, around 30%, we bring it home and we hop swap the batteries, which means that there's two batteries. We can take one out at a time and replace that and then take the other battery and replace that. That way we don't even have to turn the drone off. We can just quickly swap the batteries and have it back up in the air. So we found a hot spot that is, the temperature in this area is a lot hotter than the ground around it. All right, we've been flying all night. We've just completed our mission. We've found a number of hotspots. So now what we have to do is we take our hotspots, we download them from our controller and we create a map. We lay a bunch of hotspot locations over top of a topography map so that they have an idea of where the hotspots are relative to the existing terrain. And we also attach a coordinate for each of those hotspots so they can either use the terrain as a reference or the hotspot coordinate. I'm very confident about tonight's mission. I felt like the there was a small number of hotspots and they were all distinctly elevated relative to the ground next to it. So I'm confident that they are hotspots. I am happy that I found hotspots because it means we're actually doing our job, but no, because it means that they actually do have to come back here and do another cleanup. <laughs>